One of the biggest controversies of recent weeks has been the replacement of Mel Doyle as Sunrise co-host with a younger woman, and the debate it's reignited about the double standards for men and women on Australian television. So to review the Sunrise situation, I'm joined now by ABC Media commentators... Sorry. <clears throat> Hello? What do you mean they can't make it? How does the ABC even have a box at the State of Origin? It's on nine. <laughs> God's sake. You will hang up. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, for the second week in a row, two scheduled guests have let me down. <laughs> Once again, though, uh, I've made backup plans because, unlike some, I'm a professional. <laughs> so, uh, to review the Melissa Doyle Sunrise situation, please welcome back two good friends of the show, David Stratton and Margaret Pomerantz. <laughs> Good evening. Aloha! <laughs> this week, a rare look at a TV movie generating huge buzz. Sunrise, the Melissa Doyle story. Or as it's titled for release on the commercial networks, Boned, Big Time. <laughs> this comedy... Tragedy. <clears throat> ..is from the same team of men responsible for such seminal Australian classics as Ten News, the Helen Kapalos story. She's Too Good Looking, the Jessica Rose story. Sack Her, She's Pregnant, the Tracy Spicer story. <laughs> and a series of TV films over a 20-year period, always starring Kerry ann Kennelly. <laughs> For me, Sunrise, the Mel Doyle story is a masterpiece. A, a timely reminder that women over a certain age have no place on Australian television. <laughs> Unlike men who grow only in gravitas and wisdom and should remain in the job until they cark it on the air. <laughs> Margaret. Oh, David, I'm, I'm sorry, but I disagree with you so strongly. I'm, I'm speechless. Somehow I doubt that. The, the only thing that worked for me in Sunrise was the, the character of David Koch, or... Koshy, as he constantly kept calling himself. He's just such a wonderfully awful creation. <laughs> calling his viewers dawn patrollers and the inane dad jokes, insulting every breastfeeding mother in Australia. <laughs> I just only hope the real David Kosh doesn't sue because he couldn't be as infuriating as this one. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mark. Well, I found the character of David really spoke to me. A funny, popular, devilishly handsome male presenter stuck in a bickering relationship with a female co-host who's clearly crazy in the coconuts. <laughs> David, please! He's obviously being carried by his female co-presenter who, whatever her age, has more personality and charm than that withered old buzzard could master! <laughs> Well, I'm giving Sunrise four stars. It made me laugh out loud, which hasn't happened to me since 1961. Oh. Well, I'm afraid I'm only giving it two stars, which is one more than our show has. <laughs> Sunrise is now screening daily for anybody lacking the basic motor skills to turn off the television. <laughs> Next week, the uplifting tale of a simpleton who rose from humble beginnings to win his country's highest honour. That's the new biopic, Karl Stefanovic. <laughs> Don't miss it. David Stratton and Margaret Pomeranz, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>